Greetings, Yugi Tube, and welcome to the Dragoon's Den. Today, we are going to be doing another Wake in the Dragon segment, and it'll be on YCS Indianapolis, some things to, about it, and then things to take note of afterwards. So, let's get started. Okay, so as you guys probably know, Six Samurai won beating lineups in the finals, but we don't care about that. Much like before YCS Dallas, what we care about is the fact that a dragon deck, and in this case, two of them, topped. One would be a top 8 Chaos Dragon, and then one is a top 4 Heratic Dragon. And this one is quite surprising, because I didn't think the Atom Turbo style would have worked without having Gustav Max yet, but I'm pleased to say that I was proven wrong. Um, there is, of course, the uh, a slower control build and a rank 8 turbo build, but as it stands, looks like rank 6 spam is still the way to go, and by the looks of it, it's just a modified version of Paul Cooper's top deck from Nationals last format, which would be maxed out Sue, Aset, Nebthet, Tefnut, etc., along with three copies of Birdman, Trag, I mean two copies of Trag, two copies of Maxi, and then just MST, Duality, Land, and he was running two copies of Compulse as his trap lineup. Compulse, very good idea. Just bounce back your random D or the cards they try on bottomless, that kind of stuff. Um, otherwise, it's like nothing too outstanding. You just kind of force your way through their back row with your multiple monsters, or you just sit on Trigodia with Max C in hand, and he just becomes gigantic, and then when you're ready to do stuff, you just go for it. Now, as for the Chaos Dragon deck that got top 8, looked at that too, and it's pretty par for the course. Um, he wasn't running extra Light Swarms, nor was he running Grave Keepers, or was he running uh, Debris Dragon. He wasn't running any of these guys, he just simply went with the uh, standard 6 Light Swarms, some Trags, and uh, he ran a one of Dimensional Alchemist, but I believe he said he didn't like the single card. If anything, this would be better off at two or at none. And I understand that one Dimensional Alchemist is definitely not enough. It's a good card in the deck. It's just that if you're gonna run the one-up copy of this thing, you might as well run just a third Baylor or a third Maxi in its spot. Um, yeah, I noticed my deck is like maybe three cards off of it, so I just like dropped my 41st card and swapped my Debris Dragon out for my Chagodias, and yeah. Are already updated. Um, I do believe though that because Samurai won, you can expect to see more play from it, and therefore you're definitely going to want to be main decking these cards again if you haven't already. Baylor stops the Kakeki into Kage Musha shit, while also stopping things like Nishi from bouncing back, your Synchros, your Xyz, your Chaos Monsters, and then Maxi is just good in general. I definitely do think that 2 and 2 would be the correct ratio right now for Chaos Dragon, and if you can fit the Valor into this deck, 2 and 2, just be careful game 2 when you're up against Samurai, because they will side in Dimensional Fissure or Macro Cosmos on you, and of course, those cards hurt this deck. This isn't too bothered by, it's just you have to make your push count, and if they have those cards up, they actually can't use these on you. So, Erratic Dragons can take advantage of the Fissure Macro, Chaos Dragons can't. Otherwise though, it's actually a very favorable matchup for both of these decks. Chaos Dragons and Heratics basically punish any deck that focuses itself on controlling your opponent's back row like Samurai. When you're using monster effects to do the bulk of your work, they have problems. Musakani is probably the biggest threat, along with Prison and Bottomless on this card, but if you can like, bait out the Mosokanis or the Shia Negates, or you can just simply you know, drop Trag, pitch Dark Flare, and take their Shien, and that's hilarious, but yeah. Um, I do like these two decks going forward, and you can bet I will be playtesting a little more with them, seeing how they work out. So we have, alongside Dragoonie as the one of the best Dragon decks in the format, we now have two more good Dragon decks to run for people who want to play them. Thank you all for watching. Until the next time.